everybody, Gary Evans, Event Production Manager for QSC, and we're here in the QSC NAM 2020 booth, and uh, standing in the middle of our TouchMix virtual stage. So what we've done here is we've given you a chance to come and mix a band live, but without having a live band. So we teamed up with Atmosphere to give us the video and audio tracks that we're using to mix on the TouchMix mixer. So what we've done is we've used our QSIS ecosystem to actually run the tracks to our TouchMix mixers. This allows us to keep the video and the audio in sync. So how do we do that? Is we get the videos from Atmosphere on a Mac computer. That Mac computer goes directly to the video screens behind me. Then they send out SEMPTY timecode to QSIS. QSIS ingests that timecode and using timeline inside QSIS, we put the multi-tracks in there and then we can move them around to keep them up so we can take care of delays and syncs and get everything synced up. And then via the QSIS ecosystem, they come out of an I.O. box and directly into the analog on the back of the TouchMix mixer. So it's like you're mixing a real live band. You can use the trim fader just like any microphone would be coming in, but we don't have to worry about having a band on stage and dealing with the noise restrictions of a band. So that's great for one track, but we also have to do different styles of music. We had four different videos this year at NAMM that we're using, which are different genres and different styles. So what we've done is we've actually used QSYS to trigger a MIDI box made by KISSBOX. It's an Ethernet to MIDI connection, and then we use the MIDI that's built inside of the TouchMix mixer to trigger the new scene. So when the new song comes up, your scene's set up with all your channels the right way, all your EQs and everything done just exactly how you would recall any scene. And when the next band comes up, the next one comes up. So you're ready to go every single time. We also wanted to make this kind of like you're actually doing a stage. Well, when you're doing a real performance, you have lighting. So we also use QSYS to connect to a DMX controller to then recall in our lighting sequences all the different lighting sequences we have with the songs. So we use QSYS to control all of our own stuff. And honestly, we couldn't have probably done this without something like the QSYS ecosystem. So hope you guys get a chance to see this sometime live. And thank you for watching this video.